Welcome back to the uh, Game Day Show. Very excited here. Eddie Jackson is here. Last time I got to uh, speak with you uh, was in Charlotte. And I don't know if you remember, you had that tight shirt on. And you, and you was and you had your arms all out trying to showcase your muscles. I'm and, yeah, to you show see, you up a little I've been working you still, a little you know, bit. You've been working I've out been a little bit. A little, I like how you said a little bit. I've been grinding in the gym, all right? But, yeah, you keep your jacket on. Right, I got time keep it on. I'm going to keep it on. But, yeah. Uh, this is incredible, all right? You, you yeah. got a book out. You're a yeah. chef. You be uh, whipping it up. You know, yeah. talk about that transition from football and getting to, I'm assuming you had a passion cooking your whole life. Yeah, so yeah. I, I've been cooking since I was very, very young. Both of my grandmothers were chefs, and so I always had a passion for cooking. Even when I was here in school, mm -hmm. I would cook. My house was the house that everybody came everybody to. Everybody came and they came, there you know go. How it is. I like it. Oh, Home yeah. cooked meals. I would sell them to the guys. You yeah. know, hey, man, if you want to eat this, you're going to give me $5. Yeah, you got to pay for it. You, you know what I mean? You got to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They like say it. the groceries isn't free. I like it. So, yeah, uh, talk about your book you come out now, or you have coming out. Uh, came out in September. Yeah. And uh, how's that whole transition been? You ever thought you'd be over here running around Razorback Stadium? <laughs> now you're published author. Yeah. So with me, I've been with Food Network now for five years, mm -hmm. and so I came out with my cookbook September 24th. It's called Game Day Eats: um, How to Home Gate Like a Pro. So basically, kind of taking the tailgating yep. and taking it in home. So all the things that you think of when you think about tailgating, we kind of expand that into home gating. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So you talked about tailgating. Uh, uh, the first year we've had this, we got Hogtown uh, just yeah. over here to our right. Uh, yeah. You're a, a celebrity uh, taste tester. Yeah. How's the food down there? I'm telling you right now, it was amazing. I had something I never had before, beaver tail. Beaver tail? Yeah, beaver okay. tail. It's like a little a, beaver tail? Yeah, it's like a little Canadian, kind of like a fried funnel cake kind of a thing. Okay. Uh, strawberry cheesecake is what I had. Oh, wow. And it was amazing. Never had it before. And all yeah. the things, I mean, I eat food for a living. Yeah. And I've never had that. And I had it in Hogtown. That's high praise. <laughs> yeah. Food Network certified. All right. Yeah. But uh, so we're here at game day. Uh, you know, obviously the Razorbacks aren't doing as g good as we hope they are doing. I get it. They're rebuilding all that. But uh -huh. let's just take us back to some glory days when yeah. you were playing. Yeah, the last year is an 03. Yeah. You, you said your jerseys back then. <laughs> uh, I don't know if a thing called swag was invented Yeah, yet, it but, wasn't invented but then. it was about the player who made the jersey yeah, look good. It was. It was. Um, and then I think about some of the players that I played with here. You know, Ken Hamlin and mm -hmm. Matt Jones and Cedric Cobb and all these guys. So when I was here, you know, we had some amazing players, mm -hmm. some amazing games. I remember going into seven overtime. Oh, yeah. With Ole Miss. Uh, a couple weeks after that, we go into six overtimes with Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You know, five overtimes with Mississippi State. Ooh. Like, great, great games. Um, but more than anything with me is that my best friends that I have today are the guys that I played with. And you probably can, oh, yeah. can oh, attest yeah. to that Absolutely. as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I, one thing I want you to touch on real quick, because there's a lot of high school athletes watching yeah. this as well. The one thing I wish I could change, even in college, yeah. was understanding nutrition and how it could help my body as an athlete. I wish I knew now what I knew back then. Absolutely. I'd probably still be playing ball. Yeah, so um, one of the, the, the greatest players of all time is Tom Brady. I played with him yeah. uh, when I played for the Patriots. And if you know anything about Tom Brady, he's big on nutrition. Yeah, he is. And he's 42 years old yeah. and still at the top of his it game. He looks like he's about 23. Exactly. Yeah. So, no, nutrition is, is highly important what you put into your body is what you're going to get out of it yeah. and so i'm like you you know what i mean i wish i would have known now mm -hmm. but i you know yeah you know what i mean yeah. known back then yeah uh, t 10 times better oh yeah oh <laughs> it's yeah very that'd, important. Be, that'd be it's good very man. Important. If, if people want to get your book how do they get it yeah so my book game day east you can get it amazon barnes and nobles literally anywhere you can yeah. buy a book you can get this book yeah i like that i want everybody at home our razorback fans our two razorback fans go ahead and buy uh at his book and then i want you to pick a recipe cook it all right and uh take photos of it Send it to us on Facebook, yeah. and uh, I'm going to send it to you, and you're going to let me know send if they me. Uh, nailed it or yeah. trashed it. All right, yeah. Because <laughs> I know you can know visually. All I got right? faith in you. Yeah, we got faith in you, man. Thank you so much. Real quick, prediction today's games. You can be honest, all right? Oh, no. I'm going to be honest. All right, Auburn has a great front, yeah. right? So I'm hoping that we can establish a running game. Yes. But more than that, I want us to just get a win. Okay. We need a win so bad. Okay. We got to get a win. I like how he went completely around me uh, trying to get that prediction out of him right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, see, he don't I did say, that. Yeah, I see you good. He on TV for a living. <laughs> I gotta love it. All right, guys. We're about to go to break. When we come back, like I said, we got much more Pig Trail Nation game day for you. We got our players of the games, our predictions. I'm gonna lie, it's not gonna be good for the Hog fans. Anyway, we'll be right back after the break.